talk friction. Friction is the force that works against motion. That means if you want to stop, you need friction. Now in the circus, that's important because if I'm a trapeze artist, much like a monkey bar, when I'm holding that bar, I need to hold on tight because I don't want to slide off. And so we take the bar and we wrap it with a sticky tape that helps us maintain a lot of friction between our hands and the bar. Now in your home, you might have friction hmm, ooh, with your bicycle. You're pedaling along, you want to stop, how are you going to do it? You're going to apply friction by putting on the brakes. There's also friction between the tire and the ground. Now another thing about friction is when two objects touch each other, friction is applied. And rub your hands together, you'll notice what? They're getting pretty warm. That's a byproduct of friction, is heat. Hmm. So now, let's talk about balanced and unbalanced force, also known as equal and unequal force. This ball has balanced force. All the forces affecting it are balanced. That means that gravity is pulling down on it the same amount of force as this table is pushing up on it. It means that all of the outside forces around the outside of it are equal. You can always tell something has balanced force because it doesn't move. Now if I was a scientist, I would draw arrows equal all the way around. So it would look like this. That shows that the push and the pull forces are equal and it shows that the side forces are equal as well. Now if it's going to be unbalanced force, that means that one force has to be greater than the other forces. you can tell it's unbalanced because it moves. Now the force could be as big as that stick or as small as I'm still affecting it with force. If I'm a scientist and I wanted to show that on paper, I would make this arrow bigger than this arrow, showing that there's more force one way or the other. Sorry. Dance, Leon, dance. Oh, he loves this part. Oh, hi, Karen. I didn't see you there. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just uh, uh, dancing with Leon. And who's Leon? Leon's the rubber band. Leon, the rubber band has a name. He's my friend. I, I'm so glad you have a friend. Robert. And he's helpful. He's helpful. How is he helpful? He helps me illustrate uh, scientific principles. He's a rubber band. Yes, I know. How can he help you talk at all about, he has no mouth. How can he tell you about scientific principles? Yes, he does. <laughs> he's mostly mouth if you do this. Okay, fine. Look, here. Potential and kinetic energy. Potential and kinetic energy. Hmm. Rubber band. Rubber band. Okay, here's how it works. Okay. If I stretch him like this, yes. I've taken the chemical energy from my body and I've stored it inside the rubber band. He wow. has potential energy now. Wow. But if I let one side of the rubber band go, ow! We, while he's moving, it's kinetic energy. Kinetic and moving energy. Stored energy. Ow. Ow. Moving energy. You see? I can prove it. Here, okay. look. Look at this. Got me all this oh, that'd be great. Hi, Leon. How are you? What is that? This is Neocide, the spring balance. <laughs> and what does the spring balance measure? They're playmates. Here, look. Let me show you. Spring balance measures how much force is being applied by pulling. Oh, so right now it says three 
Newtons. Oh, three Newtons. Right now, there's three Newtons of potential energy inside of Leon. Well, and you know why this is important in the circus? I give up. Because we want to make sure that when anybody's hanging from the ceiling, that we, we have the proper amount of Newtons for the, the force so that they don't, like, the, the stuff, bad things don't happen. That's right. If you weigh 100 pounds, they're going to make sure that 1,000 pounds could pull on that same cable and keep so that person is safe. Yes, and they use Newtons to choose that. Yeah, they do. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, potential energy. Wow. See? So wait a minute. So if I were like set this on the edge of a table. Uh huh. Oh, just like that. Uh -huh. This is not a table. Okay. Let's if I were it. to set it like that, then is it potential or kinetic energy right now? Well, if it's above the ground, and it has the potential to fall to the ground, it uh -huh. has potential energy. Oh. And we know it doesn't have kinetic energy right now because it's not moving. Oh. So, but then if I like pushed it off my hand. Yeah. What would happen? It would probably fall to the ground. <gasps> because of gravity. Absolutely. Now let's just try a little experiment. Ugh, you stay right there. My goodness. See? It's above the ground, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm afraid. You should be afraid. <laughs> it had potential energy. <laughs> it did. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four, eeny, meeny, chipsalini, ooh, bop, bop, alini, hachi, kachi, liberachi, I love you. Take a peach, take a plum, take a piece of bubble gum. No peach, no plum, just a piece of bubble gum. Hey boy, what's your name? Jody. What you eating? Hamburger, give me some breathing. Jump out the window saying, eeny, meeny, chipsalini, ooh, bop, bop, alini, hachi, kachi, liberachi, I love you. Jody, what you eating? Hamburger, give me some breathing. Jump out the window, say, eating, eating, just eating. Bop, 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 b